The coronavirus pandemic has dealt a devastating blow to children and orphans. According to a research by a health consortium, including the World Bank and South Africa's Cape Town University, a parent or caregiver dies every 12 seconds from COVID-19. 1.5 million children worldwide are left behind and in anguish. The parent gets extremely ill and is rushed off to hospital. And the child is not allowed to go visit them in hospital. And they don't see them. And then they're told that the parent has died. And then there's, there's this whole funeral process that happens, which is a drive-by. And they don't even get to see them and say goodbye for one final time. Child care organizations in South Africa have had their hands full. CFM Bailey Orphanage in Cape Town has a rising number of children arriving on its doorstep. We were feeding around about 30 to 40 kids in a week within our soup kitchen. But I'm telling you now, we are around about 150, and that's only new kids. Those are not kids that we had on our list. South Africa was already dealing with a trail of child-headed households left by the HIV epidemic. But the sting of COVID-19 has been far greater. HIV was a bit not vicious like COVID, because when it was HIV, HIV actually took longer to actually attack patients or their immune system. When COVID hit, Gogo was the primary caregiver and now she suddenly dies. And then you see within these childhood households, it's not only two kids. The Gogo was looking after maybe a three set of grandchildren. So there might be nine. Social workers are left picking up the pieces. Sometimes you notice that when we touch a nerve, instead of them being able to receive that positively, it actually causes an aggression. So I think there is a sense of post-traumatic stress that's going on with the kids. There is concern youngsters could be left vulnerable to domestic violence, financial abuse and child trafficking or become criminals themselves. The risk is that children will turn to crime. Um, they would start off in a petty way. They would get involved in gangs. They could do all of those things just to get a feel of belonging. Because if they have no family around and the only sense they get of belonging is to belong to a gang. South Africa has recorded one of the highest numbers in the world for primary caregiver deaths due to COVID-19. This tragic circumstance has been described as a hidden pandemic and is expected to have long-lasting and damaging implications.